All right, here we go. Daniel Del Real with a Stanislaus County market update. So this is all the data up to the end of August. So we have one more month to this quarter. Holy smokes, it's been a turbulent one. A lot of emotions, a lot of things happening. Uh, Inventory is ballooning. We're starting to see sellers striking. You see in my email that sellers are just deciding maybe not to list their house, maybe not to sell their house, maybe pull their home off the market. There's a lot of things we got to look at. So our team as a whole has seen in our inventory start to sell. Uh, a lot of that had to do with the rates dropping last month. We're starting to see the pressure up as Powell speaks about the rate pressure and the and inflation. Uh, so we're going to see what kind of impact that has for us. But so far, we, we saw this last month inventory drop down. Is that going to continue uh, through the rest of the year like we traditionally see? We don't know. But uh, months of inventory has dropped down as well. And the rates are starting to pressure up slightly. So we're going to take a look to see what the market does. So like I said, we're taking this a month at a time. I'm not pretending to know what's going to happen in the market. But we can. what we can do is just show you what we're dealing with. Uh, with the amount of transactions and families that we help. So let's dive right into our um, our graphs. So let's start with inventory with Stanislaus County. This is what we're talking about here. Inventory has dropped down slightly. A lot of that having to do with the seller strike, we're calling it uh, sellers on just not, if the rates are high and the market is adjusting downwards a bit, as you can see in the, the title of my email, we saw 2% price adjustment this month. Um, they're just not going to sell the property, right? Uh, there's no reason for them to let go of their 2.5% rate for 5.5 or 5.9, uh, regardless of the price of the house. Because even at the peak of the market, and we'll talk about that with the median price being 485000 today being 460 with the interest rate environments, even though the homes are selling for 460 today, the payments are actually higher because of the interest rate. So here you see the rate, this was the peak of the market, which was sitting at 4.7, today it's at 5.7. So those prices would actually have to need to come down 10% in order to have a, a, a neutral payment from the peak of the market. So what that means is if somebody's buying a home, somebody bought at home at the median price here at 485, which is the peak, compared to now, which is 460, that 1% price change, the payment with with the the 1% interest rate change, the payment of somebody paying $20,000 to $25,000 less for a house is still more expensive. So the sellers are not going to step into a market like that. They're not going to discount their properties. Now we could help with credits to buy down rates, but uh, you're starting to see the inventory come back down. Now, if the market was continued to shift, we keep seeing that inventory increase. We start seeing that the demand destruction continue to destruct the demand. Then you're going to start seeing bigger pullbacks. So is this going to slow down the pullback of prices? I don't know. But right now for the year, we are at... Um, 460,000 medium price at the end of last year, we're at 440. So we're still up 4.5% year to date. Now we were up nine plus percent at one point. We peaked out at 485 when the rates were 4.7, right? So today we're sitting at 5.7. So you would think that the buyers are getting better deals on housing today, but it's costing them more over 30 years. It's costing more on the monthly payment. Uh, so their payments are much higher uh, than, than even at 485 with the rate at 4.85. That buyer would have to buy that property at that 460 property. They would actually have to buy that property at 440,000 to have the same payment as somebody paying a 4.75 at 485,000. So again, that goes to the demand destruction. That's also where the sellers are looking at and saying, deciding, you know what, I'm just not going to discount my property. I'm just going to take it off the market. So inventory has dropped down a bit. So is this a soft landing? I don't know. Are we going to continue to see the pullback in pricing? Well, we saw a 1% pullback in price. Um, a 2% pullback in price this, this month. We saw a slight pullback last month as well. So we saw two months of negative pullbacks. We'll see what happens next month with inventory dropping down. But one thing we're looking at is last month we had this average active price down 4%. We saw that that, that equated to a 2% price drop. Right now you're seeing an increase. So what that's telling me is you're starting to see some some footing on the market. Now, this might slow the, the, the price decreases down a bit, but uh, I still think that we're going to give back some of the value um, for 2020. We might end up flat or slightly positive. Right now, we're still positive 5.1%. Even if the properties do drop down from the peak of 485 and say they go down to 440 
and the rates continue going up, it doesn't mean the buyers win. Like we talked about, 445 is what the buyer would have to pay for to have the same payment as somebody buying at the peak price with the interest rates being at this at this point. Now, that's something that we're looking at to see if the rate continues to go up. Like I've been saying on my emails, if, if, if rates continue to go up, it will destruct demand and we will see how the market responds. So far, we're pulling back a bit. We're still up for the year. We still are 5%. We're still up for 2020. We might give most of that back, but who knows if sellers elect to take their home off the market, maybe we don't. Um, but supply has um, dipped down. So inventory months have softened. So we peaked out up 2.3. Now they came back down. Remember, 4 to 6% is a normal market. So if we continue uh, uh, softening a bit more and then and, and, uh, taking some inventory off the market like we traditionally do during the fourth quarter of the year, then buyers might not have the, the, the increase of inventory like everybody's thinking. Um, it now... And also we look at, okay, is that also going to soften or slow down some of the price decreases? If you're a buyer, uh, look at the interest rate. The term is more important sometimes than the price. It has to be a balance of both. You have to buy within your means. But at the same time, I know we're still seeing pressure on the rental market. Rents continue to go up. Uh, buyers still want to buy, but their, their affordability is being destructed by the rates. So we have to keep a really close eye on it. We're trying to navigate through this the best we can. The days on the market right now for our clients are 27 days. So that means there's a lot of conversations we're having. We're being active in our strategy when it comes down to pricing, when it comes down to marketing. We need to be in close communication with our clients because in a way, the market is taking longer to sell homes. So it's gonna require a lot more patience. It's gonna require an active marketing plan from our team and very engaged marketing plan for our team to make sure that our clients are getting the most exposure in the right locations. So that way they don't leave any money on the table and that uh, we are prepared with the, with the with everything we need to make the property look as best as, as best as we can when it comes down to marketing, but at the same time coach the client so it presents itself the best that we can because regardless, we still have more inventory than we did uh, this time last year. So it's more of a beauty competition. Buyers have more of a selection. Buyers are getting squeezed with their affordability. So now they're looking for something that's a bit more turnkey. We have to be very aware about that. So that's what I have for you for, um, for Santa Claus County. If you guys want to have an idea of what the market is doing in your neighborhood, want to know the value of your property, if you're a buyer, just want to get a buyer consultation. We're having a buyer seminar. I think it's next month. Reach out to somebody of our team or click on the link above and you'll be able to get a free valuation or just reach out to us and we'll let you know when our buyer presentation is. We're going to dive deep, 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 deep into some of the market trends as well. So uh, anyways, that's it for me this month. Have a blessed day. Happy house hunting. We will talk soon.